For instance, there's a $12 billion fund to, de to de help develop uh, these so-called sunrise sectors of deep tech and future tech. And there's a lot of money as well on semiconductors. Uh, I think the government of India is showing great focus on artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and other ISET sectors. I really applaud both the U.S. and Indian governments for their focus on the ISET sectors, and this budget proves that that focus is backed by real money. To begin with, thank you so much for talking to a and uh, Ambassador Keshap. You've just gotten back from India. Um, you know, the budget was announced today. Your first key takeaways from this big budget today. Well, Rena, thank you and greetings to you and all of your viewers. First of all, I think this is a very confident, very <laughs> sober and very pro-growth budget by the government of India. And I think it signals a real sense of optimism about the economic growth of the country. It sends a very strong signal to investors about the constancy of government policy. So I think it's very positive and I congratulate the uh, finance minister and her entire team and the government on what is really quite a good budget. Right. Now, of course, we all know that this is an interim budget. Uh, you know, the actual uh, thing would play out only in the month of July. You know, um, talking about the technology front of this budget, uh, what uh, what were the key ta takeaways there, especially when keeping ISET in mind? So it actually dovetails really nicely with ISET, uh, which is the initiative on critical and emerging technologies that the two governments and the U.S. Chamber uh, launched in January of uh, 2023. Uh, so first, for instance, there's a $12 billion fund to, to help develop uh, these so-called sunrise sectors of deep tech and future tech. And there's a lot of money as well on semiconductors. Uh, I think the government of India is showing great focus on artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and other ISET sectors. Uh, I led an aerospace and defense mission uh, last week, or rather this week, to Delhi. And we had really good and encouraging meetings. So I really applaud both the U.S. and Indian governments for their focus on the ISET sectors. And this budget proves that that focus is backed by real money. Right. Um, what is the key um, impression of your of the of the members at USIBC when it comes to uh, you know the budget is of course just announced. Uh, but what are you really picking up from members? You know, what's the sentiment or the mood here in the U.S. Well, number one, India is viewed increasingly as a pillar of stability in a very uncertain world. If you look at macroeconomic growth, the United States and India are creating the jobs and the prosperity for the entire planet right now. And that was not always the case. So our two democracies are leading the entire world. Our uh, companies in the United States are increasingly looking to India for their expansion and investment and their research and innovation because India is stable. And I would say that's true the other way, where Indian companies are also looking at the United States. So there's a very great recognition that not only are we part of a high trust ecosystem, but that we can actually make really good money in each other's countries because of the open system, open society, and spirit of free enterprise plus macroeconomic and relative political stability in a very, very turbulent world. Right. You you started this, uh, you know, by talking about how India is like the uh, the pillar of stability at this point. Uh, what is the mood amongst, uh, you know, uh, people here or investors here or corporates here uh, when it comes to seeing the state of affairs, you know, the, the state of the economy or the health of the economy back in India? Rena, I think that people in the American investment community recognize that in the past few years, the government of India has taken substantial efforts on the macroeconomic level to improve the ease of doing business and the speed of doing business in India. If you look at the GST tax, which was an enormous innovation to create a streamlined national market, 